Coming up on Relatables. What was his name in the group chat? Lizard Kisser. Yuck! That's <laughs> yeah. disgusting. That's why I'd rather just get pecked than lizard kissed. Oh my God. <laughs> What you wanna do, be what you wanna be, Relatables. You are listening to Relatables, Season 3, Episode 27. 27 it is. And I would like to quickly... It's 26. Episode 26. (laughs) And I would quickly like to say again, thanks guys, we're two for two. No one... Two weeks into the Outfit of the Week competition that we randomly started. Potty's over. We're done. <laughs> this is... Oh, discrepancy. So, is that a word? I don't even know. I'm angry. Is this... Um, I'm furious. Is this, so if you're listening to this on right on Monday morning, you should have seen and voted on our Instagram story. If you haven't, go, I go vote. I have to win it. this one. I, I don't know. I think I'm feeling three for three. <sighs> I'm you, feeling three for three. Yours is boring though. And then come back. Next week and find out if I'm three for three or if Oddie's got one, if it's two, one. You're um, relying on crude humor. So, but anyways. Uh, and I would just like to quickly point out that last week Oddie was going, you have an advantage. You get to choose your outfit after you've seen mine. So firstly, this week I set my outfit out before he got here and then he looked at it to make sure. I'm appreciative so of that. Yeah. And then, but I would like to point out in the first week, we didn't have a choice what we wore. It was about the shirt. We got given shirts. Someone made us shirts. Yeah, that one. So was, that one, that one was, was one week of barely an advantage. That one was always going to win. Your name was Daddy and mine was Mummy. <laughs> you wearing a shirt that says Daddy was always going to win. No, what are you talking about? <laughs> You're making excuses. I literally like your shirt better. I like my shirt's better to wear, but like the joke of like Daddy, like a fucking... Uh, uh, uh. Oh, but well. Anyway, our fit. I've got snakes on mine. If you don't know, guys, go head over to the YouTube. But to kick things off... Is this relatable, Jake? Yeah. I so don't I'm know. Actually, s- I don't know yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to set the scene. Not many things annoy me in the world, but this pisses me off. Okay. <laughs> okay. You're in the gym. It's, it's, there's a few people around, right? Someone's yeah. on one piece of equipment with a tower. They leave their tower there. They go use another piece of equipment and they're using both at once. And you're just like... Are you fucking serious? This is what I want to do. Yeah. <laughs> like, yes, it's relatable. I'm thinking in my head, I'm like, I want to fucking do, I want to do, use that machine while you're doing over there, doing nothing, supersetting this thing that isn't even beneficial for your muscles. And I'm just like, now I'm just standing here awkwardly waiting for you to move. And then I'm going to take it when you go back over there. <sighs> my heart's beating out of my chest right now. I know. Now. It's so I, annoying. There's nothing more annoying than a guy That's got, yes, so he's got a towel on the bench, okay? And then what he's doing is he's going maybe like a little chest press. And then he gets up and he goes over to a cable to do some some triceps. And then he goes over to the the peck fly machine and uses that. You're using three machines that are like fucking 10 meters apart. So just let alone you walking around is just taking up. So it's like, I can't even work around. I can't work out on the fucking bench next to yours because you're walking around it all the time. It's so annoying. It's like, is that not the most, that's like the worst gym etiquette ever. I know, that's, that's what, it just comes down to etiquette. You don't have any. That is, yeah, actually, yeah, you don't have any. Of your surroundings. Like, look, I'm just standing here awkwardly. I'm like, just sit down, mate. Like, take that is- a chill pill. And I, I, I want to like go up to him like, this isn't beneficial, beneficial your mus- muscles at all. No. So I can't even talk, I'm too angry. I know. Beneficial to your muscles. All right, so relatable? I'm going to say relatable, yes. Oh. Um, okay. A mine. I've got a something happened to me the other day. Mm. All right. Mine's more of like a, is this relatable pet peeve of mine? That's like a pet peeve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a pet peeve episode, okay? Big pet peeve. Let me know if you relate. You're driving on the freeway, all right? There's three lanes. Mm-hmm. Left lane, slow lane, middle lane, normal. Right lane, takeover lane. Yeah. Okay. You're in the middle lane going up a hill. There's in front of you, up a fairway in front of you, two semis. 
The semi behind the first semi decides I'm going to try and overtake this semi in the middle lane and he can't go. He's only gone five kilometers faster, so he's doing it the slowest overtake pace. You're going up a hill, so he creates a traffic jam on the fucking freeway and then you have to try and get into the right lane, but everyone behind you can see it coming and you haven't been able to see it coming, so you're stuck in it and you can't merge into the right lane. So then all these people next to you are passing you and you're going like 20 k's an hour on the freeway. (laughs) Relatable. (laughs) It all comes down to etiquette again. <laughs> like, I think there should be a law that semi tri- semi drivers yeah. are only allowed to stay in the left lane no matter what. I agree. And I always think, I'm like, mate, you're getting paid to drive right now. Mm. Chill the fuck out. I've <laughs> got to go home. You're just getting paid a great wage to sit on the freeway, listen to some potties. Just chill for an extra five minutes, dude. Like, I don't know if it's got anything to do with, like, their... Like, do they have, they have crazy deadlines that they have to reach? Well, are they going to save their fucking five minutes? I don't know. Like is, like, is 15 minutes, like, if you're 15 minutes late to a delivery, like, is that a huge thing? Because I guarantee you, like, surely those trucks, they're only going to one place. Oh, that, that, that's so relatable. My jaw hurts from how much that just works me out. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but, oh. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. We've got up next a YouTube exclusive that's mm-hmm. video only. So it's Girl Next Door or Man Eater. So yep. if you want to go check that out, head over to YouTube for a bit of an extra. And we'll give you a sneak peek, maybe. Her name <laughs> is Marisol Bufrond. Ooh. So if you think I said that weird, I probably did. Go to the YouTube and try and read it yourself because it's <laughs> fucking hard. <laughs> See you yeah. over there. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's jump into it. We got permission. This is a friend saying, can I ask the Relatables to do Man Eater or Girl Next Door? Please let me do it. But they need your permission. She's like, lol, yes, you can do it. I'm cackling. Okay. Not going to say her name again. We have permission. First pick. Photo one. (gasps) Oi, this is a, I feel like this is a no brainer. Straight out of the gate. Straight out of the gate. Man Man eater. Man Man eater. She eats men for breakfast. Girl, straight, oi. She takes men home for dinner and sends them home in the morning without breakfast. Oh, yeah. That's what she does. <laughs> she, she, she ate a man, put, put these sunnies on, then ate another one. There's no doubt about it. All right, one, one nothing <laughs> to man eater. <laughs> Photo two. Photo two. This Wait, one's she's got, chilled out a bit. She has, she's got some class, very eloquent. Yeah, she's, yeah. You know what? She does look quite, um, yeah, it, she's elegant. Like, what did I say? Eloquent. What's that? No clue. I love making up words. <laughs> Is it a word? I don't know. Probably eloquent? I'd say so. It sounds There's right. a lot of words in the vocabulary now, vocabulary. Sounds good. Um, I'm still sticking with Man Eater. Yeah. Because it's something about the look on her face and that one piece of hair falling over her eye. She's got some sass to her face. She hey. definitely. She knows how to win an argument. Mm. There's no way. And then she wins it, an argument and all you see is her walking away knowing it, she won. And like the gold jewelry is giving me like... Yeah. You like, see the silhouette of her walking away and it's just like walking and hips just swaying as she's walking. Yeah, she's just, she just she's, ate you up. She's like, that's right, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ate you up. And it says happy hunger game. <laughs> yes. She, she just ate a man. Up. She just ate a man and he's gone. <laughs> All right. That's picture t- three. Okay. Are we agreeing on man eater for that yeah, one? Yeah, that's two man eater. All right. Picture three. She's brought it back a little bit. Yeah. She looks very pretty cash. Probably out for a couple of drinks with the gals. Yeah. Yeah, I like the fit. Got some like very vibrant and like shiny, I think. It's the word. I, I like that outfit. Yeah, I do too. I'm and thi- she's looking, sorry to interrupt you, but she definitely looks a lot softer in like the like vibe, you know? Like she looks like she's like you could have a really good conversation with her. Yeah, I agree. She looks so open and like- Inviting. Yeah, Inviting. Like, I could tell her how I'm feeling right now. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So girl next door. Girl next door for that last one. <laughs> but sorry, girl. But yeah, sorry, man eater. Overall. Through and through. Marbell or whatever your name was. <laughs> Mar- Mar- Marisol Bufron. <gasps> man eater. Oh, it could be Bofron. Yeah. All right, yeah, sorry, girly, man eater, but we love you. Love you. All right, welcome back, guys, mm. to another episode. 2026. 20, 26. Thanks Season everybody. Three, episode 26. For tuning in. Um, and we just got to keep the lights on quickly, Jake. Yep. Patreon. Patreon. Is where it's at. It's $5 a month. Um, $1.25 a week. That's 17 cents a day. You yep. get an extra episode every week. That's honestly cheap. It's cheap as chips. An I- extra full hour every week. That's four hours a month for yeah. five bucks. And we can't cancel ourselves out there, so we say some outrageous stuff. Yeah, we can kind of say whatever we want. I'm a bit loosey-goosey on the old edits, you know? Oh, really? Yeah. A little bit like, yeah. I can get away with this yeah. one. No, no, no. <laughs> 
<laughs> and everyone who's like right now, who's like listening to us, they're doing a bit of a hot girl walk, maybe run even. Yeah. Keep fucking doing that yeah. stuff. We got some nice, we got some good shares last week and we put them in our stories. Keep yeah. it up. Yeah, keep sharing it. Put it on your Insta stories. We're going to share that shit up. We're starting a community, a fitness, health and well-being community. Yep. Bringing everyone up. So if you share that, it's a good thing to do. Yeah. We, see, we reward hot girl walks. Yeah. yeah. Not only do you look hot. Yeah. But you're bettering yourself. I We got one and it was a girl riding a horse. And it was she wrote like hot girl walks, yeah. and I was like, "Oh, that's creative, you know, yeah. riding a horse." And you know what's crazy is, I bet you a girl that knows how to ride a horse knows how to. Don't say it. I, I'm not going to say it. But knows know, how to listen to a good I, potty. But I know what you're thinking, yeah. and what you're thinking is what I'm thinking. <laughs> so, and also, I assume everyone else is picking up what I'm putting down. Mm. But yeah, so if you know how to ride a horse, <laughs> don't hit me up. <laughs> but isn't a horse girl the equivalent of like a car guy? Yeah. What was that? We, who, who did I did I say that to you? Yeah, I think you did. Was that on what, the potty? Was that on the pod? What did we? I'm not sure. I think it was. But yes, you're right. A horse girl. <laughs> no, it's because we did a dilemma of it. Yeah. A horse girl is the equivalent of a car guy. <laughs> Sorry, girls. If you Sorry. But if you're listening and you're a horse girl, we still like it. <laughs> yeah, we still love you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, is that everything? You yeah, can do it? Yeah. Do what you want to do. Be what you want to be. Relatables. All right, guys. PSA. Big PSA. Exciting news. Oddie and I are going to be on a billboard. What can we say? <laughs> this is so uh, to all our Melbourne listeners. It's going to be in Melbourne. From the 19th to the 22nd of February, okay? This comes out on the 20th of February. Yeah. So, it's it's there now. so it should be there. It is on, okay, it is on the corner of Swanston Street and Burke Street in Melbourne, okay, in the city. It's big. And it's gonna <laughs> and it's right above the Vodafone, okay? Yeah. Vodafone on Swanston and Burke Street. If you're listening to this and you're near there, please. Take a photo. It's going to be in rotation with us. So you might, we got told you might have to wait like a minute or two or whatever. Yeah. It'll be in rotation. Send a photo, tag the pod and we will repost. We, do you want to go? Re, we'll repost every single one we get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's going to be embarrassing if we get none. <laughs> so please do it. No, we'll, also, no. we'll also put it on our Instagram story. You would have seen it already. Please. <laughs> yeah, we can't get down this there. stuff. And we're only there. Literally, we're there because of you guys. This is for the plot. This is our plot. Yes. This is you exciting. guys are the best. This is because of you. We love you. Enjoy. All right, everybody up next. Is this your favorite part of the potty? Dilemmas. I really like dilemmas. I love dilemmas. What's my current favorite part of the pod? I think my current favorite thing we've been doing is the last couple of episodes is the little rants at the start. (laughs) (laughs) Do you know what my favorite part is? What? Talking to you. Whatever. Dilemmas got my emotions. I'm just a fart smeller. (laughs) (laughs) No one knows what that means. You can go check out his outfit. Hi. I'm a 20-year-old female and work this summer in a resort in Europe. I often compare it to Below Deck or Love Island. Do you know what Below Deck is? Yes. Okay. I love the job and can't wait to get back, but I'm nervous because, as you can imagine, the topic of relationships and sex is res- is a regular conversation. I've never been in a proper mature relationship, and with that, I've never had sex. Last summer, no one knew, but I got pay- playfully slagged for not getting with anyone. I don't mind too much, but I also didn't expect this coming summer I would be in the same situation. I've found I've avoided getting to know someone because I'm not experienced and am slightly embarrassed. My question is, should I go out and find some random and get it over with or dot, 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 dot. Thanks for the advice. Your potty makes my hot girl walks elite. Damn, hot girl walks. Um, Okay, I would like to say who, I don't remember who I was talking about it to recently when people go to like 20 or 22 or 25 and they haven't had sex, mm. you know, lost their virginity. And then they're like, should I save it for someone good or do I get it over and done with? Um, I've heard like very different opinions about this. Cause it's like, look, you can save it for, for someone that you think is perfect and there's nothing wrong with that. Mm. But also it's like your first time I think is, uh, might've been the person I was saying was like, they were like, my first time is not memorable at all. It wasn't special at all. It was a one night stand and I was just like, I was like 17 or whatever. Mm. And it was just, yeah, a one night thing. And I don't care at all. Like I don't regret it at all. Mm. And I was, so I was thinking like, yeah, like if you really just want to get it over and done with, like just fucking hop on a dating app and get it over and done with. And then at least you've got that first one out of the way. I think- like, And I was like, because like, there's no wrong answer. I don't think there is any wrong answer, but there's only 
the right answer to you listening right now. Mm. So if virginity to you is something special that you want to lose over a meaningful person who you have gotten to know and you're going to see after, you're going to talk, you're going to get breakfast in the morning and you're going to keep seeing that person, then I don't get it over with and wait for that. But if you just want to get it and over done with because you want to have sex, go for it. But yeah. it's as much pressure on yourself as you make it pretty much. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Like if I see, I personally see it as something, you do remember it for the whole, the rest of your life. Like, I mean, like I Who remember my first time. Yeah, I remember. Mine was actually with a girlfriend. So that mine was kind of like, I so guess it mine. was a bit special. Or the person I was seeing. Yeah. Yeah. Mine, I, I see it as something special and I, just because it's going to be a memory that's in your mind, no matter what happens. So I would personally prefer to be with someone I semi like. Rather than something yeah. on a one night stand, yeah. But that's my personal preference. Yeah, and twenty it, isn't that old, not at all. And the fact that you're thinking about doing it with some random because of the pressures of this cruisy resort thing you're in, I would say, don't do it for because of that. Yeah, just ask yourself if you don't care if you haven't had sex. Who gives a fuck? Just keep doing your life and be like, yeah, no, nah, I'm just waiting for the right guy. Just say that. Make a joke about it. Be like, oh, when they say you didn't go home with anyone, it was just like none of them were good enough for me. Honestly, fact. Yeah, like just yeah. Put, put your foot down if you don't like want if it. That, if that's what you're doing, like if you are waiting for the right guy and they're making jokes, you could just you could almost make them feel shit about themselves by, by being like, well, I mean, I don't know about you, but I'm waiting for the right one. Yeah. And then they're like, oh, fuck. I can't, yeah. I'll give it to anyone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. And the fact that you're um, slightly embarrassed is there's nothing to be embarrassed about. Yeah. Most of the times when you have sex with someone for the first time, it's not going to be great. Might be a bit of chemistry and it's going to be feel good for a little bit, but it takes more than once to get to know someone. Mm. So, And guys usually aren't great at it. No. You've got to give us some time. Yeah, exactly. I reckon, how old am I? I'm 24. I reckon I only got good at it when I was like 23. <laughs> <laughs> it's all yeah it's learning and the fact that you're 20 most males around you in the same space are going to be fucking shit at it yeah so honestly it's all down to personal preference and what you want to do but don't let any external pressures make you want to lose it agreed because you will remember it yeah agreed okay this is more of a cheating or not cheating but I'll share it with you anyway been talking to a co-worker and we have the same taste in music so occasionally send songs back and forth didn't think much of it, to be honest. After a couple months, he started sending um, songs more about love, wishing to be with someone you can't, and about missing people you love, etc. I started getting sus. <laughs> a little while later, I found out he's had a girlfriend the whole time who I didn't know about. Now I feel bad about him sending me so many love songs. Do you think it's a form of cheating or am I reading into it too much? Do you guys use songs as a form of communication? P.S. Love the podcast. I recommend to everyone. Thank you. Cheating. I literally was going to say, I was literally going to say, girl, like, look, yeah, granted, I think that girls do read into things too much sometimes, but I don't think you're reading too much into this one. Oi, men don't fucking do that. No. I don't even care if you are a music guy. Like, we love music, Mm. but we don't do that. No, this guy's trying to plant a seed. He's going to break up with his girl and then as soon as he's done, he might not even not break up, I just cheat. And then he's going to be like, hoo, 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 look what I've set up here. <sighs> yeah, no, that's cheating for sure. Wait, li- wait, wait, you know what's happening is this man is literally laying foundation. Yes, that's what he's doing. He is, he is currently, he's currently, what he's doing right now is he's putting a, a request in the council to build in the future. Yeah. That's what he's doing. <laughs> and he's waiting and he's waiting for approval. Yeah. Fucking hell. This man's playing the world's longest game. Nah. That's crazy. This guy is manipulative. Okay. You know what my biggest, one of the biggest things that annoys me is... So first off, we we don't think that a guy and a girl can be the best friends, all right? So we'll keep all that in mind. Mm-hmm. But even if you have someone that's a guy, like say you're a, a, a guy and and you have a friend that's a girl, like even just messaging them often, if you have a girlfriend and you're like messaging a friend that's a girl often, like honestly, like why? What's the point? Why are you doing that? Is Am I crazy? Like am I, am I, am I crazy to think that me as a boyfriend... I like if I get a message from a friend that's a girl, I'll reply to it, but I'll be ending that conversation as quickly as I possibly can. Mm. And then also in turn, it's like if I was to find out that my my girlfriend is quite often messaging a guy that's just a friend, they don't see each other, 
but they quite often message. Mm. Just chat. I'm like, what the... F-? I, I would seriously be like, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah. Message me. Like, is that crazy or is that a normal thing? Like, like what? Like, I don't know. You're fucking... Your parents, they're married. They don't go just like having mad old chats with their friends that are uh, the opposite sex. Mm, I do. I completely see where you're coming from. You know what I'm saying? I don't... Am I crazy? Like, no. am I actually like maybe... Do I need like I, help? I think it comes across as slightly toxic. Like, no, but is it... To- is that toxic? It is to an extent, but I completely see where you're coming from. And I just think there's just a line that shouldn't be crossed. And it's if you ask your girlfriend and say, why are you talking to him? Like, if you're just having conversations about, oh, how was your day? That's so sus. That's sus. And if she had a legitimate reason, I don't know what it would be. But if she did, I guess it'd be fine. But if she's just saying, oh, we just, I just like to talk to him. Yeah. I'll be like, what? So, Weird. yeah, I, 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 you, how you said it comes across as slightly toxic, but it is extremely, extremely sus. And the fact that we are, the thing that's tricky and why a lot of people don't agree with, with us when we say you can't be friends, we know what men are like. We see the male side of things and how 99% of them think. Mm-hmm. And if you're, I'm sorry, girls, if you're attractive, they want to take yeah. it to the next level. Yeah. And we know that. Yeah. And sometimes it's for, for women, it's hard to see and they think, oh, they're just being nice and friendly. They're not. No. That's not how it is. That's just not what dudes do. We don't want to talk. Like, we just don't want to do that. If we wanted to talk to someone, we would talk to one of our friends that we can, like, literally say the most heinous things in front of, you know? Yeah, like, exactly. We, we, we have people we can talk to. Yeah, like, we, do, we have intentions and that's just how men are. Men are crazy like that. And, yeah, this guy... 100% is not a nice guy if he's got a girlfriend and he's sending you songs. Yeah. The only time I've ever sent girls songs is when like I want things to go further with them. Or like, Literally. Like, this um, reminded me of you. Yeah. I think I reckon you'd like this. Yeah. <laughs> like that's the most flirtatious behavior yeah. I've ever heard. So girl, you should go send a song to a, his girlfriend saying like, Cheating ho, love this girl. <laughs> Your boyfriend cheats, you don't even know about it. Something like that. Facts. I say do it. Just out of nowhere. <laughs> just, out of, just out of nowhere. Next one. I have been single. I am in my 30s and have been dealing with a series of F boys for what seems like forever. I'm a student from North America and I've started seeing a European guy that literally looks like he's from Paris Paris Fashion Week. Oh. Nickname in the group chat is Swish Fashion Week. Oh. Great career, really kind guy. Actually, I'm really, really into him. But he tells me he loves me and he's pl- planning logistically and financially for our lives to be together uh, together after six weeks. Obviously, visas, etc. and something we have to think about when we are both in UK on visas that will expire my student one in July. But is this just me always being used to the drama, drama and toxic of my past relationships, feeling a bit weirded out? Is this like a crazy guy from a show you on Netflix kind of weird? Group chat is divided. Okay. That would make sense. Kind of Wait, what? Really. But is this just me always being used to the drama and toxicity of my past relationships and feeling a bit weirded out of this? Why does she do... I don't know. You go to... You're a student? <laughs> okay. Is this like the crazy guy from you? Which is a crazy show. Okay, group chat's divided. Okay, so is this her just being like a bit of a drama queen? Like being used to the drama and toxicity, overthinking it too much? Yeah, this guy's or, love bombing the fuck out of her. Is Yeah, or is this guy love bombing? Is he crazy? Is he... It's so hard to tell. He's crazy. You reckon? Six weeks. I mean, they're in their 30s. Ooh, true. Six weeks. Mm. That's a month and two weeks. That's a what? That's a month and two weeks. Facts. That's 45 days. Fair. <laughs> That's so true. <laughs> Fair. Uh, I think this guy might be crazy. But. I don't, f- I don't want to ruin a relationship. But though. the fact that this guy is, what do they call him? He's S- definitely hot. What was his name? Swiss, Swiss Fashion, Fashion Week. Week. Yeah. Fucking go with it. Yeah. If he's Swiss Fashion Week, why are you questioning it? Oh, yeah, if he starts to ask you for money, yeah. that means you're getting <laughs> robbed. But living your Delulu if he's the perfect man. Yeah. Why? There's you're no- allowed the perfect man. Yeah. He's got a great career. Kind open, guy. Open yourself up. If this turns out, you want to in, be enveloped by the situation. Exactly. Don't doubt it, especially if you're 30. Just have... <laughs> Sorry. Come on, man. We always tell people that not to put time on things. <laughs> hypocrite. What is it called? What was it again? You 
you black kettle pot <laughs> or something. <laughs> calling the black kettle black. Call, calling the kettle a black pot. I fuck <laughs> knows. Let me get it. Let me get it now. This is off the Patreon, guys. It is calling the kettle black. Yeah, calling the kettle black. It's means right. you're a hypocrite. The pot calling the kettle black <laughs> just means you're a hypocrite. <laughs> fuck. All right. Basically, yeah, I reckon I'm with you on that. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Go for it. But um, do you think this guy's just saying all these things and doesn't have any intentions behind him and he's just leading her on? The love thing scares me. Yeah, tells me he loves me and is planning logistically and financially for our lives to be together together after six weeks. <laughs> I mean, like, I know two couples, maybe three actually. They're older, but they got married after three months. Really? And they're still together. Yeah. You know you you know one of them. Really? Yeah. Oh. Wow. I know. But it, it, the fact that this could be your happy ending, like once upon a time type of story, I can just go for it. Yeah. And mind plays too many tricks on us and you're going to be withheld from the situation. Just imagine if it is. Mm. Imagine when you tell your kids how you met your, your dad and this was everything was perfect. Have you seen him with his friends yet? Mm, good point. Have you seen him drunk yet? Yeah. Do you guys drink? Has he seen you with your friend yet? Yeah. Or you could just brush off this like, you know, him saying I love you and all that. You could just kind of just be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Love you too. Love you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I love you too. What would you say love- if you a girl said to you, right, six weeks you've been saying, oh, you like her? Six weeks. Yeah, yeah you like her. And um, she could be called Paris Fashion Model, right? That's, what you're, that's her name in the group chat. And she says, Jake, I love you. What's your response? Oh. You don't have time to think. No, true. She's saying. She's, well, you're on the spot. Yeah. She, you just had sex. You roll over. She goes, Jake, I love you. I have love for you too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. You should say it like, I have. Like, just whisper the have. I have love for you too. Oh. Fuck. What do you do? Yeah, I think that's the best approach. You or you, you just hug them and be like, mm. or may, maybe because I don't like conflict and com- confrontation, I'd say I love you too then and there. <laughs> all right, and then and then when we after that hang out when I go home, yeah, I'd have to start thinking like, okay, am I gonna love this girl? Do I just go with it, premature love, whatever, <laughs> or? Do I need to really sit her down and be like, I don't think we can be together because I, that's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> that's crazy. <crack-crack. laughs> uh. All right. Good luck. All righty. My boyfriend sweats so much in his sleep that his duvet smells like cheesy crisps. How do I tell him that his duvet smells like cheese without offending him? His sense of smell isn't that good. <laughs> <laughs> this, this one was picked for Jake. <laughs> I would honestly just fucking roast him. I would break up with him. I would just start roasting this man. Cheesy crisps. Imagine Seriously, that. Seriously, what does his dick smell like? Yeah, it must be like cheddar down there. Like fuck. Ooh. Just oh. I would. I would seriously like if you love him. If everything else about him is good, <laughs> I would just be like, I would just start roasting him. Like, oh my god, that's disgusting. I'm loving this role play. Let's do it again. So I'm the I'm the boy. You're the girl. Okay. I just woke up from a nap. Yeah. I'm dripping in sweat. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, this man sweats. Honestly, I'd break up with him because he sweats in his sleep so much. That's disgusting. I just roll over, give you a little kiss. Like, I just had the best sleep ever. <laughs> and I'm like, did you fart when I was sleeping? I'd be like, no! <laughs> That's you. What? That's your pillow. Look at your pillow. It's yellow. <laughs> you haven't washed it for three weeks and you sweat every night. It's yellow. Oh, it always looks like that. I never want to come here. It's disgusting. <laughs> every time I leave my house, I just look back at my house like I can't wait to be back here. <laughs> oh, and I never want to let you sleep in my bed. You need to sort out this <laughs> hyperhidrosis shit. <laughs> so are we done? Can I sleep in your bed and see if the smell goes away? Let me think about it. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> I have love for you. <laughs> Honestly, I reckon just roast him. Yeah. I 100%. But you stink, dude. Yeah. Like, fuck. Like, buy him, like, some nice deodorants and, like, shower gels. No. Ma- maybe no. a new pillow. What? Fuck this man. I reckon you need to- It's sh- her boyfriend. You need to- you don't need to be in charge of whether this man fucking smells good. A bit of self-love, all right? 
You need to so so basically this man is getting away with being a disgusting slob, all right? So now he knows what he can get away with. Okay? You need to put your foot down and you need to say I'm seriously not putting up with this. This is fucking disgusting. Like be ser- like just be disgusted cuz you are. Just be like like seriously, your bed smells like cheesy crisps. You sweat every fucking night and you don't smell good, all right? I'm sorry about it, but I won't put up with it. And then if he gives a fuck, yeah, look, it's an offensive thing to say, but someone, he just needs to hear it. True. And who better to hear it from than you? Well, why did you date him in the first place? Yeah. But I tell you what is relatable, although we don't have that many. I feel like our men listeners would know how to do it, but I don't think many men know how to wash their body correctly. Huh? Like really at all. Like get soap on it? I don't reckon they do, eh? Hey. <laughs> really? Just, like stand there and like even like clean their like bumhole and shit. I don't reckon people I'm do it. I'm a credit card swiper. I'm a credit card swiper. Yeah, I'm but I, it in I heard there. on a, the Inspired Unplayed pod, like one of them, um, Jack was just like, like, do you put like, he was freaked out that you put your hand down your bumhole. He like just lets like soap run down there and like just puts it on. He doesn't his... wash his bum? No, Jack? no. And I think that's a very relatable thing for men. It's probably got so many dingleberries down yeah, there. Yeah, I know. And I was like, I reckon that many of our friends would like, some of our friends still use, what are they, washcloths? I reckon that's so that's chat. such bars a of disgusting soap. Disgusting thing That many men do. out there, if you're using a bar of soap, time to change oh, your stuff up. Fucking hell. <laughs> like, come on. What you want to do, be what you want to be, Relatables. All right, everybody. It's actually a good segue from Dilemmas. Because this is, what was their name in the group chat? Yep. And I just wanted to say, like, some of these are savage. I know, oh yeah, so I actually, I don't even want to know what my name has been in people's group chat. In group chat. I don't and think I'm that bad. And all I want people listening to do right now is picture the first thing that comes to mind as soon as we say the word. Because I was yeah. in the gym and I was just like, what do these dudes look like? <laughs> That's so fair. Yeah. That's so fair. So, what was their name in the group chat? Squidward. Squidward? <laughs> yeah. You couldn't even find that out. That's like, what if you ended up marrying that man? Mm. So, I pitched it, two, pitched it two ways though. Massive snoz or massive... It's fair. Yeah. Fair. I've got, um. you wouldn't want this, petite prince. Petite prince? <laughs> Is that a compliment? Fuck no! <laughs> <laughs> Who's got a prince in it? <laughs> yeah, but it's like fucking just... As, as soon as you say the word petite, I just think of like a tiny a man, like... A, a man can't be petite. Yeah. <laughs> a man cannot be called petite, all right? Uh, okay, this is like every girl's dream. Jail guy. Jail? Why <laughs> do girls love a guy from jail? <laughs> I don't know. Honey, Honestly, <laughs> that's so true. They all do. It's like if they, she would have been typing that and be like, "This is a claim." I got a jail guy. Fuck. He's up for ten years now. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> Mick Smalls. Ooh. Also, I don't think you want that. Creative? No way. Mick Smalls. Mick Smalls. Mm, that could kind of work for a girl too. True. Yeah. Oh, oh, <laughs> So a guy would be Mick Small. Yeah. She would be Mick, Mick Smalls. Smalls. Yeah. That's fucking true. Yeah, both ways. Lord Farquaad. That is... Is that not... Would that not be like the most <laughs> insulting thing that you've ever heard? The only reason I don't think it's insulting anymore is I reckon Zac Efron now looks like Lord Farquaad in Iron Claw. He does, eh? I never... Even thought of that. He does. That is oh, so true. Somebody fucking send this to Zach and yeah. tell him to fix his face. Yeah. I don't care about that stupid excuse about falling on your fireplace, Zach. Yeah. You got fucking Botox and it went wrong, all right? Yeah. You fucking hell, fix that shit. What was their name in the group chat? Grave Digger. No matter how hard I tried to get rid of him, he'd always rise from the dead. Oh, oh shit! That's cold. That is creative. Literally, I like that one. I did like that one. That one's good. <laughs> this one could be one of your girls, man. Bogan Harry Styles. I'm not Bogan Harry Styles. <laughs> Fuck this man. Who said that? <laughs> Her name is <laughs> <laughs> DV. His initials but also goes by domestic violence. 
Oh. Still going today. Oh. Just got worse and worse. Ah, sorry, babes. Come on. What? If you're still going today, like, come on. Do you want me to give you one more to make it better? Please. Mummy's milkies. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how? <laughs> Mummy's milkies? <laughs> Or maybe, Is maybe, that from a girl? maybe she calls herself mummy and he gives her his milkies. Maybe. <laughs> We're getting like baby voice. Mummy's milkies. Yeah. yeah. What was his name in the group chat? Cutest of cuties. Honestly, I like that I one. That's a good one. <laughs> cutest of cuties. Finding out you're cutest of cuties. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <You're doing> like- <laughs> shit. <laughs> That's me. That's a good one. <laughs> Tripod. That's a good one, too. Ooh, yeah. That's a good yeah, one to that, have. Yeah, if you saw it, you'd be like, yeah, fuck it. I think Drake would be called Tripod. Yeah. Have you seen that? I haven't seen the bit of you. I haven't seen it, but all I've been hearing is that man has a missile on oh, him. We should do a reaction of it, eh? Seriously. Might find it for TikTok. I, I guarantee his PR team's got that off the internet. Should we can not. Try it's, it's the dark web, mate. It's everywhere. Is that, yeah. <laughs> you can find anything on that thing. Reddit. Yeah. Reddit. <laughs> what was his name in the group chat? Underwhelming. Why did he even make it to the group chat then? He's, well, I don't know. Because he did it more than once. Yeah. I couldn't hear that. Underwhelming. Though. Honestly, maybe, obviously that means that he's a good looking bloke. Mm. And it was underwhelming because there was some hype behind it. I got a lot of ones were just like dumb, but all dick and shit like that. Like, yeah. 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 Dead dog guy. Okay. <laughs> Didn't like him at first, but then his dog died. So I, so I had to stay because I felt bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> honestly, that's, that's, that's worse. I if if you didn't like him, you may as well have ripped the bandaid the second bandaid off at the same time as his dog dying because it wouldn't have hurt as bad. So now you're gonna stay with him. He's gonna get give feelings for you. He you're who he you consoled him through his dead dog dying, yeah. and then you're gonna fucking leave him. I love the explanation. Like we couldn't put two and two together. Like obviously, yeah, no. obviously <laughs> his dog died. Yeah. Another one of every girl's dream, barista boy. Facts. Girls love a barista. They do. If you want to get some dudes and like you're struggling, go start making some coffee. Like coffee, if you're a bartender and you make a wicked drink for them, they love you. Yeah. It's usually mums though. Yeah. I got a lot of mums. Yeah. What else? Trady. I don't reckon Trady. Girls love a trade. I don't know. I reckon that's like an 18 year old. Yeah. Love it. Wait, why do girls love drug dealers? I don't know. Why do girls that's, love drug dealers? Is that drug an Australian dealer? thing? It might somebody, be. somebody who's listening, message us. Is that an Australian thing? Every girl over here loves a drug dealer and it's wild. Is it because they get cheap drugs? It's Oh, yeah. It's because they get cheap, like, coke. Yeah. Girls love it. It is weird, though. Mm. All right. Ultra Beast. She was 6'4". <laughs> <laughs> That's from a dude. Ultra Beast. <laughs> Oi, uh, props to that dude. Not many men can do it. Men's must have been tall. Yeah, good Or on he him. was short. Or he was short. Yeah, he lo- he's secure in his masculinity. Good on him. Ultra beast. Imagine her finding that out. Oh, poor girl. That's fine. She will now. Yeah, yeah, true. What was his name in the group chat? <laughs> girth. Would you rather girth or length? We, they were on the same wavelength. I was just going to ask you that. <laughs> length. I think length. I think if I was to have the same girth I've got now, and, ha- and it's like, do you have the same length you have now, but girthier or the same girth, but longer? I'm going to go girth, but longer. So no, 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 no. Same, yeah, same girth, but longer. So you got, small, you got a small one. So like, well, I wouldn't say it's small, but like, I don't think, I think you'd be stupid to be like, if someone said you want an extra inch. You'd but like, no. would you rather have like a tuna can or like a banana? Banana. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. Tuna can. Yeah. <laughs> Is that possible? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, pepperoni pizza had a lot of acne. Oh, I was going to think massive nipples. Oi. Some dudes can get some fucking big old gross baloney nips. Out. Yeah, yeah. Have you? Oi, what about also like, I think it's more common in females. I, females get, get away. I reckon it's like hot on girls. Yeah, big nips. Yeah. They I, don't, get, I don't mind it. I reckon they can get away. Dudes with bigs just weird though. Is that bad? Is that burger patties on there? That's yeah. disgusting. I don't think that's bad at all. That's gross. Fix yeah. It. <laughs> Fix it. You can't. <laughs> Surely you can get them cut off. <laughs> what? Your nipples? Surely you can get the surrounding of your nipple made some more. <laughs> you can get Botox in your cheek to make yourself have bigger cheeks. I don't think so. You can get a nipple made smaller. You can get your nipples removed 
and put back on when you get a boob reduction. Mm. But it's your natural body, so that's how you are. It's, it's all right, man. Mm, fair. We're, we're all for whatever that's called. Next one. I, I just wanted to do this one to call this lady out because I think she was trying to flex on us. Oh. Okay. So what was his name in the group chat? 6'3", Latin lawyer. We don't give a fuck. Yeah. We don't give a fuck, girl. Yeah. Are you serious? Jesus, I want to flex. I hope she's listening to this. Yeah. Latin lawyer. 6'3", Latin yeah. lawyer. Did it last? Yeah. No, he broke up with you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy not so slim Shelby because he was a rapper that looked like Tommy Shelby. <laughs> That's creative. <laughs> that is creative. Very creative. Why are you getting with this guy though? He's a rapper. Yeah. Probably sells drugs. True. <laughs> <laughs> he who must not be named. Voldemort. Yeah. <laughs> That's an X for sure. That's such a. That's actually a good idea. Like yeah. if you need to bring someone up, it's like I'm not saying their name. He who he must, must not, not be, be named. named. Yeah. Did this. Salvation Army, because dating him was a charity case. Oh, that's good. That's creative as fuck. No. That would go wild in the girls' group chat. That's Actually, good. facts. That, yeah, that would, would go, go wild. PT guy. Fair. Yeah. Did you pay him? Is he a prostitute? <laughs> Accidental prostitute. Mm. You never know. Kmart Jack Harlow. <laughs> To be fair, I would too. <laughs> Honestly, that's a funny one. Yeah. I like that. Jack and Jack Harlow's good looking. No. Really? I can Have you seen Narnia? No. <sighs> Bro, I'm going to look it up quickly. You have to see this. Is he in it? No, but he looks like a guy's in it. Ready? Oh. Narnia, Narnia goat, man. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't mean that. Hey. <laughs> looks exactly like him. <laughs> oh, okay. Candle in the wind. Due to the sad whisper of hair on top of his head. <laughs> that one's good. <laughs> oh, Lizard kisser. Yuck! Mm, yeah. That's disgusting. <laughs> that's why I'd rather just get pecked than lizard kissed. Oh my God. <sighs> Are you out? Yeah, I'm done. I'm a quick fire. Mr. UTI. Oh. <laughs> this is from a dude. The one with the cats. <laughs> I like cats. Yeah. I got it. <laughs> oh. oh, so that was um, what was his name in the group chat? Yeah, or guys, what was their name in the group chat? You guys are savages. Yeah, very savage. Do what you want to do. Be what you want to be. Relatables. Okay. I would like to ask you, Oddie. I'm going to read something and then I'm going to ask you a question. Mm hmm. So, I saw, I found something on the internet and it says, I don't fully side with, if he wanted to, he would. Because my boyfriend is quite literally the most oblivious person I've ever met and needs to be told what to do. With that being said, if I ask him to do anything for me, you better believe he will do it in a heartbeat. So, I'm more of a, if he knows you want it, he should kind of person. Ooh. And so, my question, what that brought, the question up in my head was, is... Do you think that in the social media age where everyone has an opinion, it's like, do you think that because there's all these videos made about a girl maybe going like, oh my God, my boyfriend bought me this. I didn't even ask. He brings me flowers every other day, blah, blah, blah. Do you think that because all that gets posted on social media, now there's like a very skewed um, view of what a good relationship looks like? Ooh. And also it's like maybe a girl that's with a guy that's a really good guy that might just be a little bit oblivious and he needs to be told. And if he knows that she wants something, he will get it for her, but he just doesn't know. Cause like a guy can't like read your mind. It does come down to that. A lot of, I think that's so relatable. A lot of men are oblivious to the situation. Yeah. And a lot of the time think your girlfriend's feelings. Yeah. Fact. What they're going through. And what's your question is. It's like, do you think that there has now been like, just like a massive effect. It's like too much comparison, too much, mm. I guess, like, like, do you think that social media has been detrimental to relationships basically in a very short question? I, th I think so. Yeah. It's, it's put a lot of ideas in both men and women's heads of unreal expectations because the social media is 
worst trait is being out being putting the best side of things on social media mm. so a lot of these girls are putting in my boyfriend's the best and we just had valentine's day mm. and this guy's decked out a whole room rose petals mm. blah 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 this that and the other and then she's not showing that they had a fight last week about him not putting in enough effort yeah exactly and there's that so it's like she's showing off that he did that and then the girl that's watching its boyfriend all he did was get her a rose yeah which isn't even like it's like look maybe he didn't put as much effort in but it's like i i just think that it's her relationship with the guy that got her just the rose. It could be great. They never fight. They always get along like, and he makes her feel amazing. But it's now that she's seen like this, the, the, the girl well, she knows. It's the classic, the grass is greener on the other side. The grass is always greener. Yeah. And yeah, comparisons of thief of joy. And I just, it makes me think like it, it it's with everything. Oh yeah. hundred percent. And I say, especially with relationships, it, a lot of the time, you, you sometimes cause an argument. That's why a lot of arguments happen over something that's not there. Yeah. And a big one is you're not trying enough or you're not putting in enough effort. Yeah. And some of the only times you think that is because you're seeing other people's relationships where you're comparing to and you don't know anything like that. And it's like my boyfriend should be doing that too or my girlfriend should be doing that too. And it all comes down to one of the things we preach, which is communication and relationship. And if your boyfriend or girlfriend gets you one rose and you're in a loving relationship and you know deep down the me- how meaningful you are to each other. Yeah. That's all that matters. Yeah. And I think you like I think it is a very bad thing that um, social media brings up. Yeah, and it's like yeah, and like I don't want to go against what we said a couple weeks ago about girls. We spoke about how some girls kind of strive to be like a low maintenance girlfriend. Mm. Like I don't want to go against that. Like I still think like you should definitely have standards and stuff, but are they but your standards needs, though? Yeah, like, but I think it needs to be like, it needs to be your standards, you know, it need, but also it's like, it, it needs to be communicated. Like if you, if you, let's say girlfriend and boyfriend situation, like if you love your boyfriend, but you know, like you, he's your boyfriend, you know him, like you know this person, like you love your boyfriend if you, if you know for a fact that he is an oblivious person, then there's nothing wrong with needing to just like maybe... I guess let him know in a roundabout way. I don't know how to say it, but just like um, maybe let him know that you do want to go out for more dinners and stuff and then just kind of see what happens with that, what, what what he does with that. So that's where your standards would come in. So it's like you don't have to say you don't like going out for dinner, but if you were to say to him, so let's say you really want to, it's like you can say to him, I would like to start going out for more dinners. And then if he acts on that and he does, then that therefore he's obviously trying to do that and he cares about you and he wants to keep make you happy. Mm. But if he doesn't and he's like, oh, you're high maintenance, that's where it's like your standards would come in and, and you don't want to be a low maintenance girlfriend. And I think a lot of these on this potty especially, we get asked dilemmas. What should I do? Should I lose my virginity? Mm. And then you're thinking, should my boyfriend be putting in more effort mm. and bring into bigger things? Should I be making more money? Should I be Where should I be at at life? Mm. And a lot of these... And that you're looking for answers from other people, from external sources, which one of those sources is social media. And sometimes dilemmas are from us. But a lot of the time, the answers just ask yourself that and stick to it. Yeah. Literally, that's all it is. And don't let any external things change your thinking process if you're happy and that's what makes you happy. Yeah. Like if your boyfriend's not doing what all these cool people are doing online, but you know you have a really nice relationship and you're happy, that's all that matters. If you don't want to lose your virginity, that's all that matters. Yeah. And you just got to ask yourself that. And I think that's very, very bad because social media has brought so many people's lives into connection and we're not meant to be built like that. Yeah, I agree. At all. Yeah, I find I get like a bit angry about it sometimes. Do you, like, do you ever find maybe someone brings up a good point that could be used in relation to like say your girlfriend brought, brought up a good point and it's like something that you may be lacking in and because the way we've been raised, it's like it It seems like she's being a high-maintenance girlfriend when all she's really having is standards. Do you ever find like in a certain moment you're kind of like, oh, my God, like such a hassle. Mm. But then after the fact, you're kind of like, oh, wait, that really isn't that big of an ask. Like When you're in the heat of it, you can't see it. Yeah, when you're, like, yeah, do you ever find like when you're in the heat of it, you can't see it? 100%. And that's why one of my like techniques is, I, it's, it's hard to say in the time, like give me some space. Yeah. And the person on the other side of that is like, no, we gotta deal with this right now. Yeah. But if you take a step away out of the situation and look at the bubble from outside, you can see that you're being either an idiot or they're being an idiot. Yeah. And that's what it comes down to. And it does it does anger me a yeah. lot. Of it. it does it angers you can't see it when you're in it. That's why the dilemmas are so good because we bring them back to where an outsider perspective. And when you can do that yourself, yeah. 
that's really really good and healthy but it's relationships are so tricky and what's the song um what's the guy that is it sam fender that covered no he opened for noah khan um, was his name Sam Fender? No, that's another love, Sam Fender. Uh, um, whoever, basically the guy that opened for Noah Khan, I don't remember his name, but he has a song and it's in one of the lyrics in it is love is hard, but loneliness is harder or something like that. Mm. Was it? Yeah, there's a Luminera lyric that says um, it's better to feel something than to feel nothing at all. Yeah, and I think uh, I don't even, I find as much as we preach like communication and that and always like, a big thing in arguments with like a relationship would be I find in the heat of something, I don't remember all of like the good tactics to use, you know, like the, you know, it's me and you against the problem, not me and you against each other or um, really try and stay away from like pointing or saying the word you, like you did this, but you did this. Mm-hmm. Like those things like make it so much more heated. I find it so difficult to actually like remember to do those things. And then after the, after the fact, I find myself needing to apologize. Like, I'm, I'm sorry I did that. Like, um, I actually, I see your point now. And I, when I thought about it, like, I wish that when an argument starts, you could like... Pause. You could just be like, let's pause. I hear you. I really want to think about it. But then it also, again, is it does it, it, it's like it puts across that, like, I just don't care. It, it's, it it's is. It's so annoying, hey. Because I am 100% the type of guy that... Like, say you and I disagreed on something... Mm. I, I would need like time to think. I, I, I would I would need time to think mm. before I, I, I even come back. I'm sort of when I'm in it, I can sort of see most things mm. within, in my. I struggle. I'm really. I don't have tunnel vision. Nah, I, I reckon I do. And my my toxic thing is like if I'm arguing with my sister, I'm like I just kind of want to make her feel bad now. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just like well, I'm just gonna roast her. Sometimes siblings are tr- different too because sometimes you just want to win. Yeah, like if if you're in a relationship and you were w- wrong, I can happily say I admit I'll, I'll be like, oh, sorry, I was wrong. But if yeah. I'm in an argument with my brother or something, I'm fighting. Literally, yeah. yeah. It's like, I, I, I don't care about your feelings. I'm here to win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you exactly. trained me for this. Yeah, <laughs> you're older. You trained me exactly. So it's different. But I, I'm trying to think of a technique that once you're in it with a relationship, how can you? S- see the bigger picture without because i'm the opposite so you're in the you you're in it completely and you argue and sometimes you say things you don't mean i feel like yeah i've like in the past i've done that a lot and now i you're trying to get out of it whereas i'm yeah. i can easily see everything that's going on and i see the emotion coming from the other person and they're in it and i say i need some time or get over and like then they, i come across as so you don't care yeah it's almost just pisses them off yeah it does uh, it pisses it's like we need to sort this now because then if you leave they're just going to be dwelling on it heaps more yeah and on, you kind of may, you might need to dwell on it and that, that's what that's scary to that's accept. the two um i think that's the two reasons people um the two types of argument people is people in it and people who can step away from the situation mm. and they can't resolve it together because you um resolve it in different ways mm. so you need to resolve it right there and then but i think that's also that happens. That's so relatable in relationships because they're the type of people that attracts because they're opposites, mm. and that's like a distinctive characteristic trait. It's so funny. Yeah. So it is. Yeah, it, it is funny, and I think it's just learning your partner's tra- traits and how they cope or get over things. Yeah, you you almost need to know them well enough to maybe recognize that what they're doing is like something that that it's just what they do, and they are going to come back and like well, and change yeah. it. Um, and then in a relationship yeah. too. It's so healthy to fight. I think a lot of people... I was actually just going to ask you that. Do you think it's healthy to fight? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I think um, fighting in a relationship shows that you can have a heated argument, you can resolve the situation and come out on the end of it lovey-dovey and it's gone and that's growth. Mm. That's what growth is and that's gaining another understanding and a level of person that you haven't had before. It's unhealthy if you can't come on the other. And there's two petty people. I don't think they're meant to be together and we, one of them has to win. But two can, petty people in an argument, man? Yeah. <sighs> Everyone knows that those two like blokes who like ha- think they're the top dog. They're like alpha dogs and they have the same yeah. mindset. And they're like, I've got to be the fucking life of this yeah. party. And they yeah. just fight and you see it. And they normally have like a fist fight at the end of the night. Yeah. It's the same thing in relationships. If those two people were like two arguments. But no, it's very, very healthy. And that's learning. I used to think... When I was growing up, like, no, we should, if we're perfect for each other, we should never fight. Yes. Yeah. And that's another, wait, honestly, that's social media putting that in our Yeah, heads, exactly. You know? And it's like social media is putting in your head, like, if you wanted to, we would. But honestly, like, he may just be the type of guy where it's like, if he if he knows you want it, he should. Yeah. You know? Like, you can't, you can't let something you see online define your relationship. No. And 
I'm not um, justifying men's lack of effort, mm. but from a, the male's perspective is we don't think that way a lot of the time. Sometimes we get in the mood where we're going to think, what can I do for this? How can I make her smile? How can I do that? But sometimes you just think about, what am I going to do at work a day? Yeah. What am I going to do at the gym? Mm. Nothing else. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's all you think about. And sometimes you need to plant a seed and that's like, it's not if he wanted to, he will. It's the other thing. If mm. He's a nice guy. He loves you. That's all that matters. Tell him what you want. Yeah. I saw another, I saw another video of a girl explaining like, um, you know how there was that whole trend going around where it's like, girls, it's February. If he hasn't asked you to be his Valentine yeah. yet, blah, blah, blah. Like, I'll happily ask a girl that's my girlfriend to be my Valentine just because I know it makes them feel special. Like, like I, my mind works in a way where it's like, that makes sense to me. It's like, if that makes it's one, it's fucking, will you be my Valentine? It's five words. Like, yeah. So I'll say it. And um, that doesn't worry me. But like, I also see where guys come from where it's like, you're my girlfriend. Like, what are you, what are you talking about? Why would I need to ask you to be my Valentine? Mm. Um, and I saw this one where a girl goes like, she's like, I'm seeing this trend, blah, blah, blah. Like my boyfriend's not going to ask me to be his Valentine. My boyfriend doesn't even get me that many gifts, but she kind of goes on to explain like, you know what he does do though. She's like, he makes me a tea every morning and every night without fail. Like he, she listed off all these like things that are like the most loving things where it's like, you'd almost prefer them to like this boyfriend that does all these extravagant things. I'm, I'm, I'm much more a person who likes personalized things. Like if I got yesterday with my girlfriend, she made me a personalized card, yeah. like of all these cut out little things and like cards that opened little flowers inside. And I way prefer that than yeah. fucking if I could, she got me like a hundred dollar pair of sneakers or something. Exactly. Like That's I like just it's, it's just the effort. Yeah. You like the effort. And if it's, they, it depends it's how you like it and how they show it. Yeah. And just, I think stop comparing yourself. It's just a thief of joy. We said it before. Yeah, I would just say anyone watching this, anyone young, I would, you know, it's like, yes, you need to have standards, but just don't don't let social media skew your, your I guess, your view on yeah. your own relationship. Yeah, exactly. You know? Like really step back and look at it yourself. Mm. Do what you want to do. Be what you want to be. Relatables. All right, guys. I asked last week and we didn't get any. Fucking rude if you ask me. <laughs> Send us some voice messages of you singing a song. Yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll tag you. We'll put you on the pod. My voice is, is sore. Maybe people don't get this far in the potty as soon as they hear the outro. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but anyone that does, please mm. listen. Send them in. Send them in. We love you. You're not singing? Oh, no, I wasn't planning on You're going to outro? No. Okay, we're just going to say that. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Send us songs. Yeah. Well, I tell you, I can give give a little, um, if you did stay this long, I'll give a little insight. Bob Marley movie, not worth seeing at all. Budget, yeah. same shit. <laughs> Honestly, storyline was terrible. Yep. And it was just the song was like, would you be loved or whatever. It is. That's would the only song loved? he sang. No, they didn't, they didn't even play that. Would you be loved? It was shit. Psst, don't watch it, guys. Yeah, exactly. See ya. Bye. Be what you want to be, Relatables. Relatables.